Here we will demonstrate how to use a burette. Burettes are most often used for accurate dispensing of a liquid during a titration. The burette has graduated marks from which the accurate volume of the dispensed liquid can be determined. In our labs, we use Class A burettes which are accurate to the nearest 0.05 milliliter. They can be made of either glass or plastic. Before performing a titration, ensure your burette is clean to avoid contamination. First, carefully clamp the burette to a retort stand and then place a funnel at the top. To clean a burette, check that the valve is closed and add a small amount of distilled water. For a 50 ml burette, approximately 10 ml of water should be enough. During each rinse, release some water through the valve to ensure the tip of the burette is also cleaned. Repeat the rinse two more times. Following this, repeat this process with the solution which will fill the burette. Now that your burette is cleaned and coated, you can begin the titration. Fill your burette with your reagent. Make sure the top of the burette is at eye level. Release the valve to dispense some of the solution into a waste beaker to remove any air bubbles present in the tip. If the solution is above the burette gradations, dispense a small amount. Any liquid outside of the gradations will not be accounted for when determining the dispensed volume. A white tile or sheet of paper beneath your flask can help with identifying your endpoint. Adjust the burette so that the tip overlaps 2-3 to three centimeters with the flask into which you will dispense the solution. You should read the meniscus at eye level. And if the reagent is too opaque, hold a white tile or sheet of paper behind the burette. Record the starting volume to two decimal places. Slowly open the valve to add solution, while continuously swirling the flask. Use your non-dominant hand to control the valve and your dominant hand to swirl the flask. Periodically, wash the inside of your flask with distilled water to remove any stray bubbles adhering to the side walls of the flask. Continue to slowly dispense your reagent until you reach the end point. Once your end point is reached, immediately record the final volume. The total volume dispensed is the difference between your initial and final volumes. When finished, dispose of any remaining solution into the appropriate waste container and rinse the burette with distilled water.